Welcome back. This is step three of the quality management uh, SAP S4 HANA case study where we're going to create a quality info record with customers. What that really means is that, you know, we have a customer that we created step one. Then in step two, we went in and we created a, uh, uh, an inspection for one of the items that we have in our material master. Now what we're going to do in step three is we're going to go back and say, you know what, that customer we created Let's connect this product the in, that we put the uh, inspection on for step two. Let's connect that to the, uh, to the customer that we made before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down through the decision tree again. We're going to go through logistics. This time we're going to go into um, quality management. And under quality management, we should see quality planning. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to say in the planning process when we're going to buy things, this is where I'm going to be looking. It's going to be in the logistics material, a master material, which once again, because that's what I'm buying, quality info record, SD. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to double left click on create. You'll notice when this pops up, yours may not automatically populate your customer number. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to back that out. If it doesn't automatically populate your customer number, what you can do is you can click on the search button. In there, make sure you go to the customer's general tab and in the search term, punch in your three digit learn uh, dash code. All right, because you remember when you made that customer, one of the things you put in there was a search field and it told you to put a customer number in it, which means now then in SAP, since you have this search term in the database, anytime you wanted to go back and find something that you did, you can go put in your search term and, and find what you did. I'm clicking find. Go down through here, scroll, see where you are, see what's going on. Um, you may have a couple that match yours. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll let you figure out what you have. Um, I left click on this to bring it up. The next step now tells me to go ahead and make sure that I put UW00 in as my sales organization. Um, at that point, I hit enter. It brings up a different dialog box for me, and it says now in the click on new info record. You're going to find that down here in the bottom right. So I'm left clicking it, produces a new screen for me. That's when you get to once again put your material in. This is the material that you, this is the material number that you had before, O-R-W-N, um, okay, whatever yours may be, make sure you put it in there. Once you've gotten to here, uh, it says proceed by clicking continue, brings us up, we can click on save, and at this point you'll see down here on the bottom left hand side, You've created uh, new data for that customer and it's all saved in there. That's all you have for this uh, uh, step.